Uh, here's a fascinating guy and, and truly a, a great, great talent, a wonderful actor. Robert Downey Jr. is going oh, to see hey. And, and here, here is a guy who has, uh, and I think he'll be the first to tell you, has struggled a great deal with his own particular set of demons. And, and now I understand he's, he's, he's better. He's, he's clean, he's sober, and it's, as you know, it's a lifelong struggle. So, so we'll talk to him about that and uh, many, many other things. And I respect the fact that he's uh, uh, brave enough to come on the show because, uh, actually nice enough, because I made jokes about him all those years when he was having his difficulties. <laughs> And, and he, he's smart enough to know that, well, we were just kidding around, and he, so he's coming on the yeah, show tonight. Of course. So that's, that's, I think that's a nice thing for him to do. <laughs> Our first guest is an Academy Award nominated actor starring in a uh, new motion picture entitled Gothica. It opened uh, today. Here's Robert Downey Jr. Welcome back. Well, thanks. I, I just, I just want to say a couple of things. Uh, you haven't been here in eight years, and, right. and uh, Lord knows we can only guess at the personal struggle that you seem to have prevailed over now. But I, in all honesty, I never thought I'd see you again. I just thought, here's a lost human being. Uh, obviously not. I was incorrect. My apologies for that. That's all and, right. And congratulations for the struggle that has consumed the last eight years that you obviously, as I said, have gotten control of now. Nice Thank going. You. Appreciate that. Yeah. Sure. Now, uh, does that uh, does that mean that that the jokes and the monologue are over for now? <laughs> well, we'll see just, how you behave. Oh, we're just checking. Okay. <laughs> Provided I keep my side of the street clean, you don't mind giving me a, a freaking break here. That's right. Great. <laughs> but now, do you mind if I ask you a, a couple of questions about the the nature uh, of an addiction like yours? And yours really must have had you by the throat, apparently, right? Uh huh. Is 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 that? Is it circumstantial? Is it emotional? Is it psychological? Is it, is it uh, environmental? What, what is the root of uh, an addiction that's so powerful like that, that that people are willing really to walk right to the edge of hell and look in? Uh, remember when you were talking about sex earlier? Yeah. <laughs> kind of feels good. Yeah. Well, imagine if sex turned really ugly and you couldn't stop, but every time, you know, that kind of thing. Does sex turn really ugly after a point? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Uh, what I would say is, uh... Wait a minute. Does hey, it? Now. I don't know. I, I guess I haven't... No, no. I was actually making a comparison. Well, I imagine if. I mean, the truth is, uh, it's, it's a combination of things. I don't know. I'm not an, I'm not an expert. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, have... I'm just really glad that, that nowadays it doesn't occupy my, my thoughts. And right. I'm, but, I, you know, I, I really don't know anyone who hasn't had some sort of, uh, encounter with it. Right. Whether it was a family member or whatever. And I, I'm, I'm just glad I'm sitting here and, uh... I wasn't part of the monologue. Today. And 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 and, it, and and what what do you know about yourself now that you you know didn't know ten years ago? What what do you understand? Well, I don't want to get too uh, right wing about the whole thing, but I think ultimately it's uh, it's somewhat of a, a moral dilemma. Even though a lot of programs and, and approaches say no, don't say that. It's just I'm, I'm certain there's a spiritual aspect to it, but I think largely it's kind of like you have a reasonable amount of control about what you do, what you put in your mouth with your hands, you know. Mm -hmm. Type stuff. I think ultimately you just have to, and I think uh, getting a little older helps too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you see somebody like uh, Rush Limbaugh, yeah. and he, he had a, a problem with prescription painkillers, and he, he goes away to, for five weeks to some kind of rehab, and he's apparently okay now. Does that ring true with you or not? I would say, well, initially, I mean, a couple of years ago, I just said, wow, he's got a lot of pills. I wonder if I can get him on the horn. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, no, no. I mean, they, my experience is it, it's there's a lot of like there's almost like jokes about it. Like people go to rehab and suddenly they're the 30 day wonder, and now they're mm -hmm. a recovery ranger, and they've gone through the spin dry, and now they've got I'm fine. I got it all together. You know, right. Nobody is fine. Doesn't work that way. I don't think so. Yeah, the ongoing process, a yep. step at a time. Sure. Now, w w were there times when you just thought like? I can't control this, it's over, I might as well end everything? Were you that desperate? Well, Dave, uh, it's <laughs> funny you should ask. I don't, uh, I mean, you know, I'm surprised to admit that when I was, you know, locked down in a, a California correctional facility, I said, wow, this is really not panning out for me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should, uh, you know. Kind of took a look around. <laughs> Huh. Wow, I have like a shiv and I'm eating top ramen soup and <laughs> it might jump off on B yard in two hours. Huh. Maybe I, huh, let me think this through, yeah. Might have taken a wrong turn. Several hundred thousand wrong yeah. turns. 
Uh, and you have uh, you have a son. Yes. So so now does your life looking at your life now and superimposing that possibility on your son just scare the hell out of you? Oh, I'll lock him down in a second. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and what will what will you do to help him avoid that? Um. Some people say there's a genetic component or predisposition. I think ultimately, again, it's about. I'm I'm glad that there's 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 one positive side effect, which is the whole thing doesn't seem glamorous to him, mm -hmm. and um, and I'm I'm real serious about it too. I mean, again, nowadays it's like I I don't know that that, and I I'm a little bit hesitant to say this, but I think every repercussion you have that is negative when you're doing something that's self-destructive, whether it seems supportive or people will say, oh. Oh, he's just trying to work the system and get another rehab shot. I mean, I just think, like, you know, did I say I'd lock him down? Yes. Yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how long have you been away from this uh, style of life? Uh, it's, been, it's been a couple years now. Good for you. Thank Good you. Good for you. All right. And you uh, recently engaged. Congratulations on that. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. When are you getting married? Uh, when, on the day that we do it. There you go. <laughs> And uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the woman? Sure. Uh, her name's Susan. We met on uh, Gothica, mm -hmm. which is this uh, film that's open today. Right. And uh, she was a producer. And, but it, it wasn't all that inappropriate. We kind of waited until after we were done shooting, kind of. Yeah. Yes. And, and, uh, and what, what, what about uh, her drew you to her? And what about you drew you, her to you? And... I can't speak for her, mm -hmm. um, though I'd like to. <laughs> and occasionally I attempt to, and she shuts me down. Right. Um, but she's just great. She's really smart, and uh, she's got a, a good job, mm -hmm. you know. And uh... <laughs> are, are you nervous about this? This will be your, your, I guess, your second marriage. On a scale of one to ten of the things I'm nervous about, no, yeah. she should be nervous. I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> well, good. Yeah. Good. But she shouldn't really. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and uh, uh, tell me, we mentioned your son, who is uh, 10 years old yeah. and uh, loves soccer, big Indio, soccer yeah. fanatic. In yeah. India's, uh, their team is number one in the league, and I think he's the number one. He's had the, the most scores in the league. and um, That's where I could get in a little bit of trouble, actually, to tell you the truth, mm -hmm. being a soccer dad. And yeah. I don't like it when the opposing team starts talking smack about, you know, hey, number seven, don't let him score on you. I'm like, you know, that's, you're talking about Indio. You, you want to bring this to another level? <laughs> They're like, no, we're watching a soccer game with 10-year-olds. I'm like, uh-huh. I, I see who you are now. You know, whatever. <laughs> that all like jailhouse, jailhouse Bob stuff comes out. <laughs> jailhouse Bob. Do you, uh, what, what are your plans do you have for the holiday? Everybody will get together, I assume, somewhere? Well, actually, yeah. Uh, Susan and I and, and India, we're going to go uh, hang out with Woody Harrelson in Hawaii. Ah. Don't be concerned. I knew, look right away. <laughs> it's just that, and I know Woody Harrelson a little bit from being on the show. He seems sure. like a lovely fellow. Yeah. But there is this other notion regarding Woody that I'm not sure whether it's true or not. Oh. And, and if it is true, I'm not sure, is that good company? <laughs> what, what do you... He's great company. I don't know what people you think I'm going to wind up like, you know, like hopped out and eating mangoes hiding in a tree or something. Well, I don't know. Well, yeah. I don't know. I'm not. I have a reasonable amount of control of what I put in my mouth. And now, how about this? Like in uh, Toronto, he had like thousands and thousands of people go for this big like yoga day and he said, and ride your bike to conserve fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, now what we have is, you know, like 20,000 people stoned on a bike going, where's the park, bro? You know? But his intention was to get people doing yoga. That's right, sure. <laughs> it just didn't work out that way, did it? Not, not quite. No. Uh, we, you mentioned uh, Gothica opens yes. uh, today, and uh, we had Halle Berry on the show a, a couple of, geez, I don't know when it was, three weeks ago or so? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, lovely woman. Yes. And uh, we have a clip here. You want to tell folks what we're going to see? Oh, yes. Uh, she's come out of a coma. We're doctors in an uh, institution for criminally insane women. You know, she mentioned that during the filming of this, you actually broke her arm. Yeah. Wow, you're lucky to still be in the business, for heaven's it's, sakes. You know what? I was never been... I, I was uh, terrified, and, and the whole thing... And you know what? People, you said this on the show. You said, well, uh, did, why didn't he apologize to you? When someone breaks their arm, they're screaming in agony. What do you say? Wait, stop the press. Don't get the medevac here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so terribly sorry. It was an accident, but I've been lifting too many weights, and I didn't really recalibrate my strength when I've been in that. You get him some help. 
Uh -huh. All right. But you just snapped her arm. No. I... All right, it's all my fault. Is all that right. better? No, no. It is just. I oh, thought it's it was still sort of, not better. It's just an odd thing to have on your on your resume. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's take a look at the clip and uh, tell us again what it is. Uh, she's. Uh, I'm about to let her know that she's uh, killed her husband. Okay, here we go. It's Gothica. Opened earlier today. Yes. Is he is he a bad guy, or is he a good guy? Right. Uh, it's Gothic Ad open today. Good to see you. Thank you. Congratulations, Good to see you. and please come back sooner than eight years from now. All right? All right. Robert Downey Jr., everybody. We'll be right back with Josh Stone.